Introducing our first fighter out of the red corner, representing Afghanistan. I introduce to you, Baz Mohammed Mubari. Baz is 25 years of age, standing at 170 centimeters tall, weighing in at 73 kilos. With four wins and three losses, he steps into this ring, hoping to get one of the slots in the grand finale this December in the Road to Abu Dhabi Warriors. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, representing the Czech Republic, we introduce to you, Mikhail Vostre! Republic, my Mikhail Vostri against the man from Afghanistan. Any questions for me on the rules. Baz Protect yourselves at all times. Baz. Listen to my command at all times. If I say stop, you stop. Touch gloves, get ready for it. We're about to get underway in our MMA super fight. The Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi Warriors fighting for the opportunity to head ahead to the grand finale also in December. The man in the blue trunks who just landed a nice left hook. Baz Mubaraz from Afghanistan, 25 years of age. And both the boys dirty boxing in the corner. And the clinch is on. Both got up in the clinch. He's looking it's a lot for the of, uh, dirty boxing. Mubaraz, an early start, looking for the trip. Vostri looking to close it up now. He's got. He's got the underhook and a beautiful judo sweep and flip from Mubaraz. He's now inside control. He has arms locked up. He'll be looking to slide that knee across. Vostri, though, gets up well. And. Um, tonight, uh, apart, uh, apart from EFM Fight Night tonight, we also have Abu Dhabi Warriors which was originally launched in Abu Dhabi and soon became obvious that it was about to achieve aim of promoting martial arts in, in a UAE local fighters would need to compete against the best talent from around the world and that's what we have tonight okay here we are this is a three by five minute round bout Mubaris the man in half guard on the chop he's landed some good chopping elbows down from the top position he might be quite satisfied with this ground and pound working well with his left hand there Vostri has managed to free his leg and pull him into full guard 
gone for Butterfly at this point. He's created some range and he's looking for the opportunity to stand up. Well, uh, both these fighters are fighting at o over 70 kilograms, so both, you know, big guys. Well, not enough action from on the ground. The referee yeah. Grant Waterman from the UK standing the two up. But uh, Mubarez has uh, a good set of heavy hands on him. And these are just four ounce MMA gloves, so uh, you don't have quite the same level of forgiveness you, you might get with a 10 ounce boxing glove. Dirty well, boxing definitely. in the clinch there. Once again, you're allowed to hit and hold. Baz definitely seems to be the aggressor up till now. Misses wildly with that overhand right. Lands a good Get left hook, hook. follow-up. Out of the way of like that it. head kick from Vostri. Vostri, he's Vostri going for the takedown. Looking for the double leg takedown. Good sprawl from Mbaris. They're getting a little bit close to the edge. Be interesting to see if the referee pulls him away. Mbaris splits his stance. Looking again for a takedown and to get rid of that underhook there that one went very low the left knee straight into the family jewels <laughs> but, uh, that definitely looks painful uh, Mubarez he won't be happy about that his crown jewels have been rattled up Voss Street is losing the exchanges he seems the less powerful of the two Mubarez has been able to defend the takedown well so these far these guys came out pretty aggressive like, you know it's MMA, of course. It uses a lot of different energy systems. You've got the grappling on the ground, the stand-up, a lot of wrestling. You can wrestle both uh, in center ring and up against the ropes. It's a little different, this. This is in a ring as opposed to a cage. Nice, nice leg, leg kick, kick landed by nice Vice Street. Kick. You can hear that. Another nice leg kick. Those are heavy legs. He's got some pre oh, pretty nice decent thighs. This is wild, though. This is the kind of looking for the single leg. Gives up on that. Tries the hip toss, nice, nice little takedown. left leg trip. And he'll look to grind the face with the elbow. There's a bit of claret coming out of the right eye of Vastri. Yeah, there's some blood coming out of Mike uh, Vastri's nose. It's either been cut or it's just out of the nose. Mubarez, I'm wondering if he's a left-hander because he wails down pretty well with his left hand. Has to be cautious not to leave his arm in there. Doesn't want to get caught with a submission from the bottom. A lot of blood now, raining down, using his leverage, posturing up with those big shots. He's inside the guard, he just has to watch for the upkick, clears the leg into side control and hammering down. Those hammer fists may not look like much, but they are painful. Vostri turning inside, he's managed to secure the half guard, but dominance still from Mubaris. He seems, uh, Baz Mohammed seems to be dominating and he's got his back. He doesn't yeah. have a hook in, though. He'll find it very hard to get that crank from the rear naked. He gives up on it. It'll just oh. beat his arms. But he's now in full mount. This is a very dangerous position for Vostri. He's got it. Either give his back or buck him off. He's given his back at this point. Okay, very yeah. fortunate that Mubarez was... Oh, well, Michael Vostri's got the position right now. Vostri, his first opportunity on the top, lands a chopping left hand with the forearm. Michael Vostri looks to be in control right now. Mubaris, he's tied up one arm, using his hands well. It's very similar to the tight clinch. You tie up the arms to prevent the elbows from coming. Seems to be quite a amount of blood coming out of Michael Vostri's. Vostri had a lot of time on the bottom. He's been cut over his right eye, I believe. And that is the end of the first our round. first five minute round apart from a brief 40 second stint on top it was dominated by Baz Muhammad Mubaris the man from Afghanistan and this bout is to decide who goes through to the Abu Dhabi Warriors grand finale in December uh, what do you, uh, that was a pretty uh, aggressive first round Michael Mike uh, they came out you know pretty quick what do you what do you who do you think uh, has the advantage in the first round well, Mubarez was dominant. He dominated from the ground and pound. He secured two takedowns. He was unfortunate he got reversed in the end when he attempted to take the backs. That was probably because he didn't get the hooks in enough with the butterfly hooks. But uh, you'll see here, he was very strong. He had a power advantage. A nice a judo hip down. toss and ended up in side control and just really went to work early in the round with his left hand. 
And then with the in MMA, those those takedowns score a lot of points, right? Well, the the, the takedowns they're, they're not an eight count, but they're certainly yeah. like a, a dominant. To put it in striking terms, a dominant right hand that really lands with power. Vostri did land a couple of heavy leg kicks, but he didn't really do enough with that. Nice little knee on the inside, and, and once again, the, the foot trip there from Mubaraz. And we are underway. This is our second round in the Abu Dhabi Warriors Super Fight number one. Nice lead right hand there from Mubaraz. Vostri saying he's shaking it off. He missed with a right hand of his own. Warriors does have nice, he's, he's nice with his hands. Well, he's, he's, piece, he's got genuine he power. His piece came out. And Vostri, well, he's not showing a lot at this point. The referee must be watching very closely. He's lucky if he doesn't walk into a big knee. And there it goes, Mubaraz listening to the commentary corner. He goes for the takedown, sprawled well from Mubaraz. Now he's got his back. Let's see if he wants to flatten him out or he's going to be satisfied just with back control and ground and pounding from the top, looking to secure it. Rossi took uh, a good amount of hits you there. You see the left hook there, hooking in the left leg. He's looking to flatten him out. That hook from the left leg there, the ankle there. Now let's see if the referee pulls him back in. He's got the second hook in. And he's gone for the rear naked. And that's it. That's it's bad. all over. Mubaraz dominant from the ground and pound. Ground and pound. That's took him end. down early. And then secured the hooks in. Once he got the hooks in, flattened him out. And the rear naked choke. Called off by Grant Waterman and Baz Mohamed Mubarez through to the Abu Dhabi Warriors grand finale in December. That was pretty, uh, uh, pretty impressive, Mubarez's hands. He threw a good amount of combinations there. And well, I think he's certainly wild, but he, you could tell he held the power advantage right from the start. Whenever he connected, Vostri was there. And that's a nice right hand yeah. turned over the left hook well. Vostri backed up and in the end, he just turtled up in the corner. He went for the takedown off these knees. It was a bit of a Hail Mary takedown to see if he would be able to avoid this punishment standing. Very good work off the clinch. Misses the double leg. Mubaraz ended up on top. And you make a mistake in the MMA, it is all over. A submission victory for nice Bas Mubaraz. And your winner of the Abu Dhabi Warriors Super Fight by way of rear naked choke in round number two, fighting out of the blue corner, Baz Mohammed Mubari! All right, I'm here with the winner, Baz. Fantastic fight, fantastic finish. How do you feel about booking a slot in the grand finale in Abu Dhabi? Thank you. Ma tashakur me hano mas. Sozmane Abu Dhabi ke amchu muzawakat e bazar ke jawani ra baro ando ha. Umedwar asam da final khud am muzawakat e Abu Dhabi bi binom ta ya ke ftukhar e bazar ke digara. برای ملت افغانستان کم سونم اونا گفتن نمانه که من این فایت ما برای نیروهای حملیتی پولیس پازداران عزت شرف مردم افغانستان هستن تقدیم کرده و تقدیم میکنم زنده باد افغانستان زنده باد مردم افغانستان تینکیو تینکیو